me this all while I hold the hand of the Lord that the Lord is going to the word of the Lord will go out with power the word of the Lord will go out with might the word of the Lord will go out with boldness, with confidence, we will know what we are talking about and we will speak from our hearts with boldness, not fear we come against distraction, we come against any setback in the name of Jesus let us begin to pray in the spirit Good afternoon, Foggy Bottom. Good afternoon, Foggy Bottom. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad in it. Yes, be glad if you're in it. We are glad ministering. About to get this Holy Spirit party started, right? Yeah. We're about to hit you with the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus. Let the love of Jesus and let the Holy Spirit fall down on everybody under my voice today. I'm leaving. You take the spot when I leave. Oh, no. We're good right here. This is prime spot. Whatever. I'm just letting you know. I'm leaving you guys to take. Okay. We're all preaching about the Lord. I'm just leaving you to take one. Sorry? I'm just leaving you to take one. I'm leaving right now. Okay. Grab one for the leave. You won't want to do that. Sister Dillon, you want homage? We are here to bring you the good news. The good news of Jesus. What is the good news? The good news is 
no matter what you've done, what you're doing, or what you're planning on doing, Jesus loves you still. And He will forgive you. He loves you still. Amen. Jesus loves you, but He hates your sin. Why does Jesus hate your sin? Because He died so that you can be free. He died so that you can be free. So when you sin, you take Jesus' death on the cross for granted. Don't take Him for granted. Don't take what He's done for us for granted. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. A once in a lifetime opportunity to receive eternal salvation and you'll be saved from the defamation of this wicked nation to God's proclamation that we are all in dire perfection and this world is coming to dire eradication to receive Jesus and walk with him in justification and he'll accept you and take you with him to his heavenly habitation. Am I right about it? Jesus is king. Was that a mouthful for you? Jesus yeah. God. Hallelujah. I had to, I had to go one by one on you so you'll understand. <laughs> yeah, Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Okay, I'm going to pass the mic over to Brother Nelson. The flag team member, Brother Nelson. And he's about to hit you with the goodness of Jesus. Am I right about it? Praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is God. Jesus is the only one true God. Out of Jesus there is no other God. Jesus is the one true God. Why? Because you rose from the grave on the third day. You see, every man, every religious founder, they came into this world, they died, and they're still in the grave. Muhammad is in the grave. He never rose from the grave. Buddha is in the grave. None of them ever rose. But they brought religion. Why couldn't the grave pick them out? Krishna, dead, fuck in off. the grave. Hey, fuck you. Watch your mouth. Well, you I, did, I didn't talk to you. Fuck off. I didn't talk to you. you are Krishna is still in the grave. You never demon. rose. You are a demon. Come on, come on, come on. You have no love for Christ. You eat me. Thou shalt not kill, and you go on killing. Then and then you come out here, you are the only one from God. And you blasphemy others. You are not a demon. You are a demon. I'm a son of God. Let him go to hell. And I'm here to preach. I'm here to preach Jesus. You blasphemy others' religion what? when you don't even practice yours. You, you do not know religion. You can you say all God. you want about. You can say all you want about Hare Krishna. You are not Christian. You, you can insult Jesus if you want to. I love Christ. I follow His commandments. You know. But you don't believe in Jesus. You believe. You don't believe. You're not born again. If you love Christ, you're not going to be advertising Hare Krishna. Christian, love you in the name of Christ, you moron. Love for Christ is served in Christ. When you love Christ, you will worship Jesus. You are a terrorist. When you love Jesus. Terrorists take shelter of science, philosophy. I don't trust me. I thought, I thought you didn't want me to talk to you, but now you're talking to me. Are, are you harassing me? Are you harassing me? You're not showing the love of Jesus. You're harassing me. You're harassing me right now. And the terrorist, not a right? I didn't, I didn't talk to you, I didn't watch you, I didn't say anything to you. All I just say is Jesus is God and every other religion is faith and false because Jesus is a relationship. Jesus is God. Jesus rose from the grave. Jesus defeated death and sin. How did Krishna do right from the grave? Krishna did not rise. Muhammad is still in the grave. None of them ever rose. Buddha is still in the grave. If Hare Krishna is God, why didn't he or she rise from the grave? Jesus saved us. He died for our sins and was buried. And on the third day, he rose again. All the gods are dead. Jesus is the one true living God. And Jesus came to die for our sins. Oh yes. When Jesus is preached, demons disperse. When Jesus is preached, Demons are expelled out of here because Jesus is the name above all names. At the name of Jesus, all knees will bow and all tongues will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. To the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
glory to Jesus. There is only one name given under heaven whereby we must be saved among men. Only one name is given under heaven among men whereby you and I must be saved. And that name is the only name of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. No other name can lead men to salvation but the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. And he that believes in the name of the only begotten Son of God shall be saved. And the Bible says, He that believes not shall be damned. Why not come to Jesus? Jesus has already made a way for you. Jesus has made a way for eternity for you. All you got to do is to believe. Because Jesus died and conquered the grave, He conquered death, He rose from the grave again on the third day. And if you put your trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, my friend, you will be saved. You will have eternal life. And when you die living this world, you will pass from death into eternity in the arms of Jesus in heaven forever. This is the love of God. This is the promise of God to all mankind. But you have to believe. You have to believe. You have to repent in your heart. Repent and believe in the gospel of Christ. Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Receive Jesus. Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Now is the day of salvation. Repent and believe in the gospel of Christ and be saved. You see, friends, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. It's appointed for men to die once and then come judgment. Someday, friends, you and I are going to die. We are not going to live in this world forever because man is a mortal being. Man is mortality and mortality someday is going to be cut off. Mortality someday is going to crumble and go back in the grave and the soul will depart from the body. The body goes back into eternity and the soul perishes. The, the body goes back into the grave and the body perishes in the grave. But I ask you one question, friends. Where do you think you're going to spend eternity? Where will you think you will spend eternity? Have you made plans for your, for your eternity yet? Have you made plans for your death yet? I want to tell you, friends, so many people want to live forever, but no one wants to die. So many people want to live forever, but no one wants to die. But I'll tell you one thing, death is a certainty. Death is an assurance and assurance. Death is inevitable. We are all going to die someday, but I want to tell you, friends, even if you die, there is already mercy given to you, forgiveness of sin given to you by God, and that if you die, the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross for your sins, Jesus rose again from the grave so you will not have to die and perish. If you die living this world, believing in Jesus, you pass from death into eternity in the arms of Jesus in heaven forever. This is what God promised to you that except a man be born again, except you be born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You have to be born from your heart. You have to be born from above. You have to be born of God. You see, friends, the first time we came into this world, we all came into this world by birth. We all came into this world through a woman's womb. We came into this world through your parents. And the Bible says, whatever is born of flesh and blood is flesh and blood. But whatever will be born of God has to be born by the Spirit. God is Spirit. We all have human parents. Yes, we all have biological parents. But we need a spiritual father. We need a father of spirit. And that is God because the Bible says God is spirit. And God wants to keep birth to your heart. And that's what the Bible says, except you are born again. Except you are reborn. Except you are reborn in your heart. You will never enter the kingdom of God. Because if you don't enter the kingdom of God, friends, when you start living this world, you go into condemnation. You go into hell. And God did not create hell for any man. Hell was not created for mankind. Hell was created for the devil and his demons. Hell was created for demons. 
Because the devil is the enemy of God and man. The, the devil is the one behind the evil and the wickedness of this world, the sin and the confusion.